everybody. Nice of you to stop by because, well, it's rear view on a Tuesday. Now, what has the Gander Outdoors Truck Series been up to lately? Well, while Xfinity and Cup took on the Midwest, the truckers held things down in the Longhorn State. And they certainly kept it interesting. They're barely out of the gate and into the wall goes Gustine spinning and ending his day early. Oh, and ugh, a second hit on the inside wall. Here we go, it's Johnny Sauter versus Austin Hill and they tap, Sauter spins, the 13 hits the wall and sets fire to the track, but not in a good way. It's a restart, Todd Gilliland and Ben Rhodes lead the way, Gilliland gets loose, hold it together, you can do it. Ah, and he goes into the wall anyway. The 17 of Tyler Ancrum goes for a ride all the way through pit road. Now that's one hell of a drift. Anchor to the right. Let's see if let, let, off the break. let off the brake, let off. Uh, Okay, all right, back it right into his pit box like Brad Keselowski did. Then the big one hits. Spencer Boyd, Trey Hutchins, and Natalie Decker take a spin on the wild side and bring out a late race caution. And it's on. Greg Biffle and Stuart Friesen battle it out. Friesen is loose and Biffle comes away with the win. The Biff is back. Wow, what a race. Looks like the truckers came out to play. Before we check out the Xfinity Series, we have to give a shout out to Haley Deegan, who clinched a win in Colorado and said through her actions, not words, you come for the queen, you best not miss. And look, here comes Haley Deegan, and they spin! We have a spin at the front of the pack, now the two teammates spin! Xfinity took to the track Saturday afternoon in Michigan and left nothing to chance. Rebo getting in hard, just floated off in there, got no pressure. Still by 15, nice and easy, bring it home. Tyler Reddick won for the third time this season, solidifying his mark in the big three. The two saved fuel, took the lead as Cole Custer and Christopher Bell pitted, and Reddick held on, fending off Noah Gregson and Mike Lynette. Sometimes the long game is the best game, and your opponents won't know what hit them. Though there were plenty of other hits to go around, Riley Herbst brings out the sparks. Looks like you're trailing something, Riley. Better check that out. And here goes Jeb Burton. He spins, and it looks like his tire is to blame. We have Chase Briscoe. He's sliding. There's smoke everywhere. Ah, but he saves it. Hold her down, hold her down, lock her down. Woo, that was intense. Reddick passed the checkers and burned out a nice donut. One day after National Donut Day, no less. But the drama wasn't done yet. Noah Gregson admitted he just really wanted that win. I think three JRM cars in the top five, so we're making those baby steps. I want to win. I want to beat that damn two so bad. But uh, man, just just frustrated. But uh, I know I know we can race with these guys. Don't worry, Noah. We foresee some good luck for you in the future. Sunday afternoon, the hills were alive with the sound of thunder which kept the cuppers away, but not low in spirits. Bubba Wallace, Corey LaJoy, and Ryan Blaney stayed in the competitive spirit by tossing a football back and forth, even getting fans in on the fun. Matt Tift had less of a good time as his truck had to be towed. I got out of my car, I'm walking back to the hauler, and my tire guy says, hey, I think they're towing your truck because they you know, saw the, the 36 hard card pass on there. So, oh crap. So I started running. So I go on, I don't have my keys. So I sprinted back to the trailer, got my keys, uh, hopped in the team van, and we chased them around uh, behind the credentials building and eventually got it. Even drivers can have a little trouble with parking. Who knew? The race moved to Monday afternoon and the drivers got right back on track. Get it? Damn it. I think I'm spending too much time with Chuck. Ugh. It got bumpy on pit road as Jimmy Johnson collided with Matt Tift and his crew attempted to repair the damage. Teammates Chase Elliott and Alex Bowman skirted near disaster and proved it's sink or swim in Michigan. The troublesome turn two caught Clint Boyer in its net and made for an early exit for the 14. A disappointing turn for Boyer, but I'm sure he'll bounce back soon. In the end, Joey Logano kept the pack at bay and clinched his second win of the season. Hit that, guys! Hell yeah! Perfect job, everybody. Way to execute a race. Well, that's it for Rearview Mirror. The Cuppers take a break next week, but the Xfinity Series drivers and the truckers take the heat to Iowa.